2010 QC. I think you, you've tried probably the best QC in Georgia, which is the 2006 of Vino Terra. But um, ours is good enough, too. <laughs> this is the 2010 QC. If I'm going too fast or slow for you, let me know. This one here? No, no, no. I've had some very good bottles, but um, hmm. I wish I. Okay. If I have any more, I will share it. But I. Well, talk about Kisi a little bit. I, 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 it has such unusual aromas to me. I'm not sure what to make of it. Well, Kisi. Basically, Kisi is a really interesting variety. In my opinion, it has shows very well both fermented without skin contact as well as in the traditional Cajetín way. And without skin contact, it tends to be very floral. You almost get some lychee notes. And, and then it becomes more like dried herbs and dried fruit um, in the Cajetín version. So you get less of the fresh fruit and more of kind of dried, um, uh, especially dried herbs, I think. But I find it a really attractive, unique varietal. And I, think, I think it's very sexy. You know, I get things like musk and girl sweat out of it, you know. Uh, musk and girl sweat, those are two good things, wow. I guess. <laughs> I didn't get that. Let me try it again. Some more. <laughs> it's not, you can't just talk about flowers and fruit or even herb. I, it, I personally get like a dry, almost dried apricot also. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of the kind of dense dried apricots I've this had at the market in Istanbul. And it's also got a hint of some of the black pepper that you get on the mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you have the second one? The key seed. You have the key seed? Much <laughs> much well? okay. Key seed. 